In this video, I am going to be covering my top three vibe coding tools that I've been using in 2025 and beyond. Tools that I use for myself and building software for myself, tools I use to build software for clients. I recently just sold a piece of software for $5,000. I'll tag that video somewhere over here. And these are the tools that I use in order to accomplish that. So by the end of this video, what will you know? One, we're going to go through what is vibe coding, get you to a point where you understand what it is, understand how AI has an impact. And then two, we're going to go through the top three tools that I have covered before on this channel, but I consolidate it all into one little video to say, hey guys, this is vibe coding. These are the top three tools you need in order to kickstart your vibe coding journey in 2025. Start developing out software quick and easy with AI for yourself or for clients. So if that sounds good. We're going to get into it right now. One quick ask from me is about liking and subscribing. I just want to make a deal with you guys. If you like and subscribe, it gives me indication that I should continue doing this. We just hit over 3000 subscribers. So my promise to you is if you like and subscribe, I will continue delivering better and better content going forward into the future for you as the person watching this. So if you get benefit out of the next few minutes, please do drop a like, drop a subscribe. It does amazing things. Let me know who you are in the comments. I love to connect. I respond to every single comment that people make. So please do do that. And uh, yeah, let's connect. And anyway, back into the video. Okay, so what is vibe coding? Andrej Kaparthi, who, if we go to his profile, is the previous director of AI at Tesla. So definitely a guy that is in a position to talk about artificial intelligence. And his post, this is the first real coining of the term vibe coding. And what he says here is there's a new kind of coding I call vibe coding, where you fully give into the vibes, embrace exponentials and forget that the code even exists. I'm not going to go into the rest because he then talks about how you should just let the LLM take over and just let AI, you know, do all your debugging and you shouldn't check any bugs. And whether you agree with that or not, that's his tweet. That's the first coining of vibe coding. You can pause the video here and read through the whole thing. This got a lot of traction. It kind of blew up and the whole term of vibe coding started. But what really is it? In my opinion, and I've actually got this written down, right? For me, I've got an analogy here. Vibe coding is like working with clay instead of working with a stone and chisel. When you work with a stone and chisel, it's those fine little details. You've got to make sure that every single time you hit that hammer on that chisel and that little piece of that stone flicks away and creates a dent in the rock or in the stone that, you, that you, you're working with, you can't, that's irreversible. You can't go back and change that. So you've got to be pinpoint accurate. You've got to analyze before you get into it. And that's how not coding per se has been, but building software has kind of been. Build out the plan, then get a developer and give them a good spec and have the developer do a first iteration and getting an MVP or minimal viable product out, it took months, right? Now you can do it in a matter of days. And the reason you can do that is it's the clay part. Think of using clay when you were a kid and you played with it. It's maneuverable. It's malleable. You can stretch it. You can squeeze it. You can, you can do whatever you want with it and you can quickly design it how you want. It gives you that first starting point, that proof of concept, that minimal viable product, which you can then go ahead and build out from there. So it's just an analogy. So don't, don't kill me in the comments for it. But that I hope explains, you know, kind of how easy it is to do this. So we've been using the, the term of vibe coding or the the working with our vibes, right? Just fully giving into the vibes, like Andre says. And we've done that with a couple other things. I used to be a music producer, or I still am, but Fruity Loop Studio, which I'll pop on the screen here or any of the other music production softwares. Music pr production has gone from playing on a keyboard, right? Or an instrument to sitting there and dragging and dropping little colored blocks into different areas to make a beat, right? So you've got your beat beats lined up, right? So say your drum machine lined up, and then you set all the, the colored blocks at the time intervals that you want the different instruments to, to be cued. And then it, by doing that over that time interval, it works, right? The same thing when, it, when you work with Canva or editing software, right? When you drag and drop a timeline, you drag and drop that timeline. You drag and drop that picture to make it bigger or smaller. You shrink it or enlarge it. You don't need to know about vectors and the exact aspect ratio that you need. You just drag it and make it small enough. And you're like, cool, I'm good. I'm going to move on, right? Because what software is allowed for that? And in this case, when we talk about vibe coding, artificial intelligence has allowed for that. That is pretty much vibe coding. From an AI perspective, it's using artificial intelligence 
as your assistant to build out software. You tell it what to do in natural language. I've done tons of these videos on this channel, so go dive into those. And you go and explain, I want this made, and it will make that for you. And then if there's an error, you say, hey, deal with the error. And if you want, hey, I want you to change this aspect to that aspect, you can just ask it to do that. And then it will execute. You're the guide. You're the manager, right? You have to have the bigger picture. You have to think about critical thinking here. You have to think about how you want to piece together your software, where your software wants to go. You know, how do you want it to look? How do you want it to function? And then you tell artificial intelligence or the AI to do that. And it does that. And the grunt work is taken up and you can just kind of give into the vibes and just go along and build out a piece of software based on, oh, yeah, I think we should go down that route versus I think we should go down this route. That makes sense. Now, that's vibe coding in a nutshell, I hope. I've probably spoken for about four or five minutes. But now we're going to get into the top three tools that I'm using. Before we do that, I just want to go through how you can get involved in vibe coding, right? Telling about these tools without showing you what's your basis and what you used in order to vibe code would be, you know, pointless of me. So let's get into it. So I've covered this in a previous video where I've dived into all the different no-code platforms that you can use, but it's pretty much down to two different types. You get IDEs, Integrated Development Environments, and then you get AI Builders. For the guys who are just starting, I say the AI Builders are the best thing to go with. And then for the guys who know a little bit more about code and want to kind of get into the little nitty gritty and want to take a little bit of the pressure off the AI in order to understand the code better, go with your IDEs. Now, I said here, yeah, I want to know about the actual code, yes or no. If yes, you want to go with things like Cursor, Windsurf. Uh, you can go with like VS Studio. There's just no AI. And then for my new guys, for the for the you know the the people watching this that have never built a piece of software in their life, but everyone's talking about it, and AI is the next big thing. This is where you start. Lovable is my hands down favorite. Bolt new definitely comes in a close second. And then there's a def, you know data buttons making making waves. And there's a bunch of others. There's replets. There's V0. There's a number of different AI platforms that all work the same way. You're interacting with an artificial intelligence to build out a piece of software. That's it. And you're using natural language to do that. As an example, I'll use Lovable. So whenever you come to any of these no-code builders, you will land on something like this, which is a text box that you will enter in natural language. And I say natural language just in normal English what you want to build right so in this case you can build anything you want right there's examples here ask lovable to create a blog about whatever ask uh, Lovable to create a portfolio website about whatever a web app about whatever and you can go ahead and build that if you come to lovable and you go down to featured you can see everything that people are building right so there's a bunch here so let's go I don't know, let's go pulse robot landing page right so this is something that someone's built it's kind of like a landing page so this web app that was developed was developed out by Razul Karim Artif. Sorry, brother, if I'm, I'm screwing up your name. He went and built out this piece of software. And if we go all the way up, we can see his initial prompt. Create a one-page landing website named Pulse Robot. The heroes section should have an image on the right and text uh, text life like this. So he's actually taken this from somewhere else, right? Boom. So he wanted to recreate this that he took from somewhere else. And boom, look how it's recreated that. And he did that with one prompt. So my opinion, go sign up for something like Lovable. Start playing around. Go to the, 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 the text box here on your dashboard and enter in. I want to build out you know, this piece of software. And you can upload screenshots if you have examples of things. Like I said, there's tons of videos that I've done on Lovable that you can literally dive in. There's actually a playlist on my YouTube channel. So to go dive into that. I've got a playlist for Lovable, Bolt.new. I think Cursor, there's a few others. So let's use that as your learning material and go ahead. Okay, tool number one is called 21st.dev. This is a free repository of the most amazing user interface elements that you can integrate into your no-code builds, right? So the one people love, and I also dig it, it's pretty cool, is if you come here, for example, this is like a landing page that's got this little robot. And you'll pop up now that looks at where your light goes. So check how like awesome that is, right? You can make him like shake his head and dance. And if you come over here and you hit the drop down, you can literally go and copy your prompt straight into Lovable. So you can say copy prompt, prompt type, Lovable, prompt rules, any additional context, copy prompt. And then you can literally go to Lovable and say, boom, build that out. So if I go and say copy prompt and I go here and I just go, uh, and I go boom, and I just literally, that's all, I, that's all I've added. That's it. 
that's, that's all I added. And we'll just give it one second. So we've pe we've pasted in a prompt or a piece of code, right? So copy paste this component to yada, 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 yada. I'm going to skip to the end here. Boom. And we are in Lovable and look at our little robot. It is working exactly how it's supposed to. And it's a carbon copy, right? So 21st.dev, like I said, is completely free and they've got a whole bunch of UI components, right? So they've got announcements, backgrounds, right? If you need to do different feature elements, you can come through here and look at all the cool little features. Like how dope is that? Display cards. And you can literally just copy the prompt, paste it into your no code builder. And it's not just lovable. There's a bunch of others. V0, bolt.new, the, the, the load. So you can just copy and paste that in and you can start making your piece of software go from pretty much ugly to beautiful real quickly with one prompt. So tool number two is actually from a recent video that I did a full breakdown of this application, but it's something I'm using in my daily process. Now, this allows you to basically vibe code with no hands. You don't have to type a thing because it's got the perfect AI dictation out there, in my opinion. How it works is you download it, and I've got the full video, so I'll link that here. But how you what you do is you download it onto your Mac or Windows computer, which I've got on my Mac. And once it's installed, you'll have this little start dictation here, which is controlled by a key on your keyboard. So if we come back to Lovable, and I go to my dashboard, right, and I want to build something, I can go and type and go, you know, I want whatever, whatever, like create a newsletter post or a blog post. So in my case, like I've got my blog is AR The Boring. Go and subscribe if you are a builder. And what I'll do is say I go and take a screenshot of that. And I'll say, okay, cool. Take a screenshot of that. Go to Lovable. Let's drag that in. And now it's like I want to create a newsletter similar to this one. So I just hit my control key, right? Hey, I'd like to um, build a, a newsletter um that is similar to the image attached um, and I want to call it AI the dominant. Actually, no, 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 wait, don't say that. I want to call it Vibe Coding 101. And then you just let go and it adds it in there and you can see I screwed up. I said, make it, I said, I think AI the dominant and I changed my mind. It picks that up. So it actually uses AI to understand exactly what you want to say, not just what you say. It's not transcribing what you say. It's actually understanding what you want to say. And then there you go and I can just hit enter that's the only thing i actually to touch is the enter button and you go ahead takes that reference image and you can use aqua voice installed onto your windows or mac computer in order to just use your voice in order to vibe code which is absolutely insane all righty and then third and final tool is for all my cursor fans out there if you use cursor as a no code builder copy coder is an awesome tool that allows you to clone any website any web app it has the ability to upload an image it understands what that image is, understands the components are there, are on there, and it generates a prompt that you can then import into Cursor, and you can import the entire file. So I've done a recent video that I'll attach here, but we'll do something similar. So for example, if we go ahead and copy the newsletter again, let's copy this page over here. Let's drag that into Copy Coder. We go to Web Application, we say Generate Prompt. It will analyze the image, pick up all the elements on the image, Cool, and then it gives you this generates a prompt. And the second step here is your page structure analysis. So it generates the page structure and we're gonna say generate page structure. So it's gonna go and analyze all the elements from that are on that page and then build out what the page should uh, look like and the actual structure that we can import straight into cursor. Sweet, then it's created our page structure analysis. Instead of copying it and pasting it into cursor, what we can do is just download prompt file it's gonna generate that. And then this is a really cool thing. If you wanna monetize an application, you need users, right? So if you're gonna to have to sign up users and allow them to log into your application, your software as a service, you need authentication. And Copy Coder allows you to just kind of click and say, yeah, I want it with authentication and we'll integrate that already. So we go and say, cool, I want with authentication. And then all you're doing is copying this one CLI command and pasting it straight into Cursor. So let's get Cursor up and running and I'll show you that. Alrighty, so we've created a new project in Cursor. You're going to come down to Terminal. You are going to copy and paste that CLR command that you copy from Copy Coder straight into there. You're going to hit Enter and it's going to run through that and set everything up. So you can see over here, it's created our setup page and then it's setting up all our other pages here. Initial prompt, page roots, authentication, and it will create, keep creating all of those. So it's done that. Now we want to come to our little chat bot or chat 
uh, pane on the right hand side here make sure you are toggled on to agent and we're using 3.5 you can actually use 3.7 sonnets if you want so let's go and do that and then we're going to say over here at and you can literally just call up the setup page so you're going to run your setup you're literally going to send that that's all you're doing run setup it's going to run through some commands you just have to approve those Alrighty, so that's done and like i've done already we're going to just do the to run it in our local host so you can literally i've typed it but you can use aqua voice just to showcase that a little bit you can just go and say hold on control npm run dev and as you can see aqua voice actually picked up the function that we wanted to to perform but we've already done that up here or over here so local host over there so we're just going to tap that follow that bring that over sorry give it a second let me bring that over there boom and there we go build your next project with ai start building today and it's literally a carbon copy of ai the boring pretty cool and we did that all in this video real time pretty much using vibe coding it's awesome and that is the third and final tool all right guys and that is the video i really hope it was beneficial if it was please do like and subscribe it does amazing things for the channel i have so much in the pipeline coming up that i'm going to be launching soon some free stuff for the community so definitely join it subscribe for now there's some more stuff coming and it will be out shortly but i thank each and every one of you that has subscribed and has liked and followed this content thank you and let me know what you're building in the comments please i will dive in there and we can get in touch connect with me on linkedin on x let me know what you're building let me see if i can help um, that's my goal here is to provide as much value as possible um, and if you have any questions around vibe coding or any of these applications feel free to reach out i will see you guys in the next video Cheers.